Every two years, the Robert Bosch Company opens up its doors to the media to come on in and look at all the technology that it's working on. Some of that technology is right around the corner, some of it is decades down the road, but here is one of those technologies. What we have in this car installed is a 360 degree sensor set which is taking a complete picture of what is happening around the vehicle and we're using as well a very precise information about uh, the road uh, situation, about the map where the vehicle will be moved. The vehicle sees all what is around, takes the decision how to move in this environment, transfers this decision then to the brake, the steer and the powertrain and is so capable of driving all our handling cores on its own without any human intervention. The vehicle is using, in addition to its onboard sensors, a connectivity uh, device. So it is connected to a cloud, cloud server where it can draw information from, such as how is the traffic situation, is there something new and, and up-to-date information about the, the traffic in front of us, is there any hazards which are to be uh, obeyed or to be seen on the road. So this vehicle is not only highly intelligent on its own, it is as well connected to a cloud server. This is something which we will see within this decade already. And the next step is the highly automated driving where the driver can dedicate his time to reading emails, uh, making any phone calls, seeing a video on the movie screen or something like that. So we will not be supervising the vehicle anymore. This is something we see at the beginning of next decade to go into the market. You know, judging by the way that car has turned out, looks to me like Bosch is in a catch-up mode when compared to where Google and the VW group are with their autonomous cars. Even so, Bosch sure is aggressive with its plans to be production ready at the end of the decade. And you can bet it is going to be a big player in this technology.